What's up, everybody? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com, and we're back with another review. Today, we have the Vicious Ant Spade. Oh, yeah. And isn't she a beauty? Check her out. I mean, really, really nice. I'm going to treat this like a kit almost because when I was at ECC, I got the Spade along with the Radius V2 single coil atomizer also by Vicious Ant. So we're going to go over both of them in great detail. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to cut down low, go over them, and then I'm going to come back up on top. I'm going to answer any question you may have. I'm going to I'm going to give you my pros, my cons, and my final thoughts and whether I recommend this mod or not. So let's cut down low without any further ado. Okay, everybody, welcome down low. We're going to go over the Spade and the Radius RDA. Um, they're really not a kit. They were given to me together in California, so I decided to review them together. And the other reason I decided to review them together is they work so well together. They really complement each other well. So I'm going to go over the Radius first, and then we'll go over the Spade mod, okay? So this might take a little longer than usual, but... First thing I wanted to show you was check out the packaging. I mean, look at that. It's got that leather-like look on the box. Really beautiful. They did a nice job on the packaging. They really did. I mean, it's fantastic. So you open the box up, right? There is your nice little RDA sitting in there. And a little foam insert underneath. You know, for a high-end mod, we really don't have a lot of spares. I was a little surprised at that. We have a spare O-ring, two spare post screws... And a traditional 510. This thing does come squonk ready. So we're going to put all that to the side right now. I want to show you the actual RDA. We're going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Okay, there's the actual RDA. Really nice job. Very subtle branding. There are your two airflow holes right there. I'm going to show you how they work in a minute. Uh, drip tip is like a proprietary type of drip tip. Here's the bottom, 510 with a squonking pin, right? You got some Vicious Amp branding and a serial number there, 709 on the bottom. Uh, of course, squonk pin is removable, and you can replace it with a traditional 510. Drip tip, it, it looks like a 510 drip tip, but to be honest with you, all my other 510 drip tips fit very loose in there, so I really wouldn't call it a 510 drip tip. It's a little off, so, you know... If you're looking to run your traditional 510 drip tips on it, you're going to have a tough time. Now, let's show you the barrel. Check it out. Okay, there's some writing on the barrel. I'm too old and blind to make out what that says, but there's something on there. Um, on the inside, really doesn't have a conical design to it. But when you, we're dealing with an atomizer of this size, you really don't need that conical design because the chamber is actually so small little notch here so the barrel can't spin, right? And that also helps you adjust your airflow. Um, the machining on it is absolutely exquisite. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, they they do a bang-up job on their quality. I mean, this thing is smooth, no sharp edges, no burrs, no nothing. I mean, this thing is, is, is machined buttery smooth. It really is. Next thing I wanted to show you is the deck. I mean, check that out. Very simple, simple deck. I think I'm going to zoom in for it. So this is the deck. Notice, got some really nice large uh, Phillips head screws right there, right? Um, I got a real simple build in there. 24 gauge stainless steel. I think I got four wraps. I think I'm oming out at around 0.22 ohms. Um, that's the kind of build you want to run in something like this because you really don't have a lot of width to work with. Um... You don't have a lot of width to work with because basically your build can only be as wide as those screw heads. So it's kind of tough. It really is. I think I'm just going to hold this in the palm of my hand. I think it's better that way. So now here's the airflow slots, right? And if you notice, there's the airflow. It goes through the block, but it goes all the way up to there, right? So what happens is the airflow on the exterior of the barrel catches it right here. It travels down. And it's slanted down on an angle through the block right there. I don't know if you can actually see that. It's going to be tough to see. You see that air hole right there? 
it comes through there and underneath your coil and it almost makes I guess like an X pattern like that you know the airflow comes in like that and I thought that that was going to be very very turbulent and I was actually surprised at how smooth the airflow on it actually is I mean this thing's got pretty smooth airflow now the juice well it's not the deepest in the world I mean there you go you can see how deep it is right but you want to know something it's a squonker so you don't need it to be deep you really don't I mean it's fine just the way it is it's a squonker all your juice is housed underneath you don't need a silly you know deep juice well so that's that for the radius now let's move on to the actual star of the show the spade this is the spade in juma white okay and again i mean just check out the packaging really really nice they did a great job on it it's absolutely beautiful nice vicious ant logo on it leather like looking box i mean just really really classy presentation is definitely a pro um now you open up the box right got a little bit of padding here you got all the you know cards we'll file that to the side here is the star of the show this is the vicious ant spade i mean look at that spade there that's why they call it the spade because this looks like a spade fantastic right beautiful i mean i they let me pick they gave this to me at ecc in california and they let me pick any color i wanted and for some reason man this bone look this white look with like the lizard skin type of look it just called out to me man it looked like really really classy i'm just so happy with the color that i picked it's fantastic now up on top right let me move this stuff to the side here up on top we have a squonking pin and it is not it is not spring loaded okay it's an adjustable squonking pin I haven't had any issues with it. It's I haven't I, I haven't uh, adjusted it or anything. It's been fine just the way it is. Um, you'll also notice we have a stainless steel plate here with some vicious ant branding. Threading on it is extremely smooth. What you would expect from a high end mod, and this is a high end mod. These things go for around 190 bucks. Here is the firing switch right here. Kind of got like a ball type of look to it, right? Almost looks like a half a BB hanging out of there, right? But let me tell you something. It's it's fantastic, man. It's a real comfortable button. Um, it's got a hard press to it, so you really don't have to worry about putting it in your pocket. Um, I don't think it will fire. I mean, I would still be careful and maybe loosen the bat loosen the battery here or yank the battery out. But you know, I've had this in my jacket pocket and it it, it hasn't fired, so. You know, it's been good. Over here, you have some... Let's zoom out a little bit. Over here, we have some spade branding. And we also have a hole here that I'm going to get to in a second. And on the back side, not much of anything going on. Just some flat black. The bottom where the battery is loaded, this is your battery tensioner, right? It's like that old school, right? That turn, you turn with your thumbs, right? You get your, get your fingers in there and turn it and loosen it up. And when the battery is inside, you turn it back, right? So there we go. There's the Juma white face panel. They, they sell other panels that you can replace this with and switch them out. But, I mean, just look at that spade cutout. Look how awesome that looks. I mean, they've got every little detail down to the little notches at the bottom. I mean, it's just that's just banging. It's fantastic. Now, once you pull this off, right, you'll see on the back, you know, this thing is cut very precisely. Um, you got three magnets that stick to your actual battery, but the door, I mean, mine is, mine is tight, man. I mean, it doesn't, it, it got a little slight, slight movement, but nothing crazy. I mean, you can barely hear it clicking. It's, it's in there pretty tight, man. They did a good job on it. And now on the inside of it, right? Remember I told you there was a hole on the outside? Well, check this out. What this is for is. They got a different type of squonk bottle system where you slide it in, right? And when you want to take the squonk bottle out, you take this pin and you push on the collar of your squonk bottle in order to get it out. I mean, that's just kind of cool, man. It really is. So let me show you the squonk bottle. Um, I have the clean one right here. 
let's see. I'm going to show you another neat thing that they did with the squonk bottle, but let me show you the squonk bottle that it comes with. Okay, so this is the squonk bottle right here, right? It's soft, it's silicone-y, not too soft, you know, but it, you got a nice collar here that you can grab it without squeezing it, right? So you fill it up, okay, like any other squonk bottle, right? There you go, tubes inside, pre-cut already, threading on it is beautiful, okay? You fill it up, you tighten it down, right? You hold it on the top here so you don't get juice all over yourself, right? And when you want to insert the bottle, you just... You just snap it in. Bang. So yeah, so that's the way you get the squonk bottle in. Real nice and squishy. Um, solid contact. I've had no problems with any misfirings or anything. This thing makes contact every time, and it hits pretty hard. Um, as far as the battery goes, like I said, there's no battery orientation marking. That's definitely going to be a con. This goes in positive side up, though, right? Like that. Once you get it in there... You kind of flip it over, give it a couple of little twists, right? Make sure it's nice and snug. I think I loosened it too much before. There we go. Nice and snug. Now it's in there, and it's ready to, to fire, okay? Put the cap back on. Put the battery cover back on, and you're good to go. You're ready to start vaping. Now, another thing I wanted to go over is I want to pull the squonk bottle out again. And I want to show you a really cool feature that actually comes with this mod. And I've never seen this before. And it's a shame that I'm really not going to get a lot of use out of it. Because it's not the way I fill my squonk bottle. But check this out, right? You get a little keychain attachment here. You get a little metal capsule, right? You take this keychain attachment and you slide your squonk bottle onto it, right? Then you take your squonk bottle and you push it in there. And now you have a traveling full squonk bottle that you can swap out very easily. I mean, even this thing is machined beautifully. Some Vicious Amp branding on it. I mean, they did a great job with it. I mean, it, it's fantastic. No screwing out anything. It's just an O-ring. Um, the O-rings on it are pretty tight, but there you go. When you're ready, when you're ready to refill, you just boom, take that out. Slap in your full squonk bottle, and you're squonking again. I just think that's a fantastic feature. Unfortunately, I'm not really going to be able to use it because I use a squonk refill bottle most of the time. So, you know, while it's very ingenious, I just, I'm not going to take advantage of it, but that doesn't mean I can't give them credit for it. I think it's fantastic. So let's cut back on top, all right? Let's cut back on top. I'm going to show you, you know, go over all the pros, all the cons, and then we're going to talk about it a little bit, and I'll tell you whether I recommend it or not. All right, everyone, we're back on top, and you just saw the Vicious Ant Spade with the Radius V2 sitting on top. Let's have a quick vape. Really nice, really nice saturated vape you get off of this. Um, let's talk about the Radius V2 first of all. Um, single coiler. I'm running a real simple build in it. 24 gauge, stainless steel 316, four wraps, omen out at 0.2 ohms. Very, very simple flavor build. Uh, airflow on it is kind of on the restrictive side, but let's remember that this is a... It's a flavor RDA. It's not made to chuck clouds. This is made to give you really good flavor. And I really do think that it accomplishes that. The flavor on it is really pretty good. I would have liked to have seen a more conical design inside because I think that would have made the flavor pop even more. But, you know, the airflow is right up my alley. It's kind of restrictive. I like that. I would have liked to have seen maybe a touch more airflow. But it's a good flavorful atomizer. As far as the performance goes on the Vicious Ant, I mean, I love it. I love the form factor. I love the way it fits in my hand, right? You can fire with this finger, and then you could squonk with this finger. I mean, it's a one-handed squonker. It's fantastic. If you want to turn it over and thumb fire it, that's cool. You can thumb fire it right there, and then slide your thumb down and squonk it if you want to. It's, it's just a fantastic form factor. Build quality on it is top-notch. It hits hard. It's a 
it's a really, really, really nice squonk. It's, it's top notch as far as I'm concerned. All right. So let's get into the official cons and pros. You know me, I like to do the cons first because I like to end everything on a positive note. But we'll do the cons first for the RDA. The RDA is very small. Okay. It's small. It may not be the easiest deck to build on because there's not a lot of space between the posts. You're basically dealing with the space of a large Phillips head screw. So you can't really put a lot of wraps on your coil and put some, you know, some even some simple Claptons on there. You're going to have to, you know, go easy on the wraps. It's not, it, it's not very wide. So that's going to be a con, uh, especially for some new builders. You might have a little bit of tough time with it. Uh, the restrictive airflow, I would like to see a tad more airflow on this thing. It's definitely on the restrictive side. Not to the point where you can actually mount to lung it. I think you, you, maybe you could get a loose mount to lung off of it if you really try. But it's more of a, a restrictive direct lung hit. Um, and I got to give him a con on, on the, you know, the lack of a conical design on the barrel. I mean, come on, man. You got to, you know, with something this small... You should really put some type of conical design in there. The flavor probably would have popped even more. And the other thing is the 510 drip tip. It's not really a 510 drip tip. All my other 510 drip tips fit rather loose in it. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a proprietary drip tip because I really haven't got a 510 drip tip, and I tried a bunch of them to fit in there snugly. So, you know, proprietary drip tips, not a fan, okay? If you're going to if you're gonna make it that small... Just go the whole way and make it a 510 drip tip, all right? As far as the cons on the mod, the one con I really have that really bothers me, and I, I'm shocked that I haven't lost it yet, is that pin in there, that pin right there. Man, that thing's got to be really easy to lose. I'm sure a bunch of people have lost it already. Um, I just would have liked to have seen a nicer way to secure it. Uh, you know, I don't know what else they could have done, but... That thing's a pain to if you lose it, man. It really is. I got to give them a con on no battery markings. Guys, you're a high-end mod manufacturer, Vicious Ant. You got to put some battery orientation markings on there. That's just not cool. I also got to give them a con that the 510 is not spring-loaded. It hasn't been an issue. I haven't even had to adjust it. But you know what? If Tony B can put a spring-loaded 510 on a, on a Pulse, you know, mod that's under 40 bucks, Vicious Ant should be able to do one too. So, you know, let's get a spring-loaded 510 in there. And the other con is, this thing's on the expensive side, man. I mean, this is 190 bucks. So, you know, you're going to have to really like it in order to spend that kind of cash on this thing. I mean, I will say this. It's much better than those, you know, 3D printed mods that you see these Facebook groups doing where you have to enter, you know a lottery to get the privilege to spend three hundred dollars on a on a on a three D printed mod. I, I that's always made me kind of laugh. You know what I mean? I'm glad squonking has become more mainstream and that stuff is kind of going by the wayside because not for nothing, man. I mean I'm a free market capitalist. I'm all for people making money, but I always thought that that was a little bit of a ripoff. But hey, you know, I'm not telling people how to spend their money. You spend it the way you want to spend it. It's your money. But, you know, this thing is definitely on the expensive side. But the other thing is you can justify the expense because everything on it is top notch. All right. But a lot of people, that's going to be a con that it's so expensive. So let's move on to the pros. The pros on the on the Radius V2 is it's a nice little Addy. It's extremely well machined and it's got very good flavor. The flavor on it is, you know, it, it's not the best flavor I've ever had, but it's definitely up there with some of the better ones. It really is. And, you know, it's not a cloud chucker. It's a flavor atomizer, but it's got really good flavor to it. So, yeah, but it does well with simple builds. That's what you're going to have to put in it. So that's the pros on the Radius V2. As far as the Vicious Ant, I mean, you know, the, the, the Spade mod, build quality, top notch. I mean, look at the cuts on this thing. Look at that spade over there. I mean, it's just phenomenal. All right? They did a bang-up job on it. Looks-wise, there's no... Listen, whether you want to spend $190 or not, there's no denying this thing's a looker. It looks really, really nice. 
Uh, the other thing is, it hits pretty hard. Really does. I mean, you get a nice hit off of this thing. I don't think that there's any significant voltage drop on it or anything. It's a hard-hitting little squonker. Okay? Other thing is, it holds 24 millimeters without any overhang. That's a pro, for sure. Uh, I love this feature. Even though I don't use it, and I probably won't use it, which is a shame, but man... For people who don't have those refill squonk bottles, this is just an awesome feature to be able to carry this thing around, slide a new full squonk bottle in your in your in your mod, and just continue squonking. You know, kudos to Vicious Ant for coming up with that type of system. It's an awesome system, and they did a bang up job on it. And not only that, but this capsule right here is so well machined. It's just a quality quality piece. Great job, Vicious Ant. Love that, love that extra bottle. Fantastic feature. The other thing, the other pro I got to say about it, you know, hey, you know how I roll. This thing's got that DJ factor, man. DJ factor is when you walk into a vape shop, you put this bad boy down on the counter, people are going to be like, ooh, what's that? Ah, that's beautiful. Where did you get that? That thing's definitely got the DJ factor, without a doubt. It's phenomenal looking. It really is. So... All in all, would I recommend this mod? You know, this is an expensive one, so that's kind of going to be up to you. You have to justify whether it's worth $190 or not. Personally, if I saw this at a show for $190 or if I saw a show price for like $160, I'd definitely buy it. I would buy it over one of those 3D printed mods any day of the week, that's for sure. Um... I think it's just a phenomenal looking mod. I think the build quality is fantastic. And, you know, in life, most of the times you get what you pay for. And that's true with the Vicious Ant. That's for sure. Uh, you know, as far as the Radius goes, the Radius V2, would I recommend it? That's also a little pricey for a really, really small atomizer. It's, it's machined extremely well. But are there other small atomizers that will give you better flavor and a little bit more airflow? Yeah, there are. There are. Um, you know, I just happened to get this, you know, with with the Spade uh, at ECC after I did the interview for them. They offered this to me for review. And actually, before I cut before I cut away, I got a really really funny story about this mod. So as as I told you, I was at ECC. And, um, you know, I interviewed them and I, and I, you know, I interviewed the owner of the company. We went over all the, all the different mods that they have and they've got some beautiful stuff at their booth. I mean, it's just phenomenal looking. And, uh, when I was done, the owner was like, you're a reviewer. And I'm like, yeah, he's like, I'm like, I'm a vaping insider. And he actually heard of us and he actually read some of my reviews. So he's like, he's like, Hey man, pick out whatever you want. We'd love for you to review our stuff. So I was like, great. You know, and, and this, this, um, this white one just called out to me, man. It just had my name on it. It's got kind of like that scrimshaw look to it, but with the, you know, with the reptile looking scale. So I, I just had to have it. So I went for the classy looking black and white one. So I was real happy, right? I went back to my hotel room the next night. And uh, since my hotel room was actually right next door to the convention center, I was actually staying in the same hotel with a lot of you know, mainstream YouTube reviewers. And one of them who I've become kind of friendly with, right? It's, I mean, it's not like we, we talk all the time, but he knows me when he sees me, comes up to me and shakes my hand, says, what's up, right? I was passing him in the lobby and, you know, we were just, you know, shooting the breeze a little bit, right? And uh, all of a sudden he goes into his pocket and he's like, Jack, he's like, check this out, man. Look what I got. And he pulls out his spade, right? And he shows it to me and I'm like, Oh, really, man? I'm like, they gave you one, too? And I, sh and I pulled mine out of my pocket, real innocently-like, and I showed it to him. And he's like, what did you say? And I said, they gave you one, too? And he's like, what do you mean, gave? And I said, the owner gave me this. He gave me this with the radius, and, you know, he told me to review it. And he just stepped back, and he's like, Jack, are you messing with me? And I'm like, no, man, the guy gave it to me. I'm like, Why? He's like, they charged me a hundred and something dollars for it. He's like, they claim they gave it to me wholesale. He, and he was like, he was like a little annoyed. I mean, it was kind of funny. I kind of had to laugh, but I felt bad for him because he's a really nice guy. But, 
you know, then he kind of brushed it off and he was okay with it. But it was, it was just a funny little story that I wanted to tell about this mod. Um, you know, it, it's a good mod, man. Definitely go check it out. If you're into squonking, if you're into high-end squonking, it's, you'd be hard-pressed to find a better squonker. That's for sure. All right? And that's it. We're going to wrap it up. You know, I'm done with my storytelling. Uh, don't forget to check out our new forum, vapinginsider.com forward slash forum. That's where I hang most of the time. You got any questions about the Vicious Ant Spade or the Radius V2, or if you just want to say hello to me, pop in there, you know, subscribe to the forum. You know, that's where I hang most of the time. So definitely check me out when you're over there. Also, all my videos are posted over there as well. Um, check out the links in the description down below. We're going to have links to Vicious Ant's website and where you can actually buy this and the Radius V2. And that's it, man. We're out of here. We're done with this one. Deuces.